Hi, I'm Missy, one of the nurses here in the Cancer Treatment Center. We know you and your family will have a lot on your minds when you arrive for your first treatment. So I wanted to take just a few moments to show you around and tell you a little bit about what to expect from your treatment. When you first arrive, you'll check in at the Treatment Center check-in desk. Unless you've been told otherwise, it's okay to eat a small meal before your treatment. You can also bring a snack with you. Unless instructed otherwise, take all of your normal medications at the usual times. If you're scheduled to take a medication while you're here, bring it with you and let us know. After you check in, a staff member will bring you here to check your vital signs and your height and weight. If it seems like we check these a lot, it's not because we forgot. Many of the medication doses are determined by height and weight. Tell the technician if it's your first appointment so she can answer all your questions. After check-in, we'll ask you to wait here until your room in the treatment center is ready. We try very hard to stay on schedule, but we sometimes fall behind because of emergencies or patients who need to be seen urgently. The clerk here in the front desk will try to keep you informed if there are any delays. When it's time for your treatment to begin, we'll walk you back and help you get comfortable in one of our rooms. Our rooms are different sizes, but there's always room for a friend or family member to sit next to you in the treatment room. It's possible that you'll share a room with another patient during treatment. If that's the case, there's a curtain here for your privacy. When it's time for treatment to start, your nurse will come and introduce themselves and review your treatment plan for the day. We nurses will be pretty busy when your treatment starts, but you can always feel free to ask us any questions you may have. Many treatments require an IV, so your nurse may start IV fluids or medicine at the beginning of your treatment. If your treatment involves chemotherapy, your nurse will put on chemotherapy, gloves, and a gown. This is just to avoid getting any of the medication on his or her hands or clothing. With another nurse in the room, your nurse will go through a series of double checks to be sure you're going to receive the correct dose of your chemo. When that's done, we'll start the treatment. Again, feel free to ask us any questions you have before starting the treatment. Once treatment begins, you'll be able to just relax in your room. You can watch TV, work on your laptop, talk with friends. The length of the treatment will depend on what you're being treated for and the treatment plan that your doctor has prescribed. When your treatment is finished, your nurse will come in to flush your IV line and dispose of the IV tubing and gown in one of these special containers. Your nurse will also talk to you about the rest of your treatment and some of the side effects you may experience. When you're comfortable and all your questions have been answered, we'll help you get to the exit. Many patients will need to get their blood work checked before another treatment is given. If your blood work is going to be done here at the Nebraska Medical Center, your nurse case manager will set this up. If you have a port, you will have an appointment made at the University Tower Treatment Center, which is on the third floor of the University Tower. We'll make sure you know where that is before you leave after your first visit. If you do not have a port, you will have your lab drawn at the Diagnostic Center or by our on-site phlebotomist. We'll make sure you know how to get there too. Your chemotherapy appointment will usually be scheduled in the treatment center about an hour or so after your blood draw time. The clerk at the treatment center check-in will not be able to check you in for your chemotherapy appointment unless your lab results are back. If you are sick or have an infection that may be harmful to the other patients in the treatment center, the staff will put you in a private room and close the door. Please do not leave your room without telling a member of the treatment center staff. Even if you need to use the bathroom, just let one of us know first. If you have children with you in the treatment center, they can never be left unattended in the waiting area or in the treatment rooms. There are games and some toys in the waiting area available to pediatric patients and other children. Children are not allowed to walk or run around the treatment room. They must stay in the room with you and must have an adult with them at all times. Pediatric patients being treated in the treatment center must have an adult with them at all times. If the parent must leave the area, this must be discussed with the treatment center nurse before the parent leaves the area. We know there's so much on your mind at the beginning of treatment. We all want you to know we'll do everything we can to make sure you have the best possible experience while you're here. 